Hey YouTube, it's Christina from K-Stone Beauty here with a great review actually. <clears throat> Man, there's something been in my throat the past few videos, I'm sorry. Um, Alright, so I talked about Crush Botanicals liquid foundation um, like a few videos ago and and then before that I talked about what else I got from Crush Botanicals and um, it's two skincare products which I am in love with. Um, at, the mo at that moment though I did buy them on sale so the original prices are a little pricey for me so I'm gonna be really bummed once I've run out um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do about that who knows um, this has lasted me a long time I got these I got these I believe in December beginning of December or end of November either way I have la these have lasted me a while and I use them every day um, about every day um, anyways I'm gonna talk about the Crush Botanicals detox facial cleanser and this has amazing things in it. Um, and so I was pretty excited to try it. Sorry, now I'm gonna go to their skincare. Oops, come on. She has an Etsy and she also has a, a website. But I like her Etsy because it's a lot easier to use. Um, but I really like this cleanser because it feels really great on your skin and it smells nice. And it, it a little bit goes a long ways and it does do a pretty good foaming effect. Let's see. Skincare products. All right, it's what she calls it on her Etsy is the anti-aging acne organic skincare deep clean charcoal detox, and there's awesome things in it. She says organic natural skincare purifies, decongests, soothes pores with lavender and activated charcoal. Acne and stressed skin will love feeling clean, refreshed, and remarkably distressed. Which I actually believe that stressed skin is is a ha haven for not. Let me try that again. Stress skin is a haven for toxic waste and buildup. Chemicals, air pollution, stress, prescription medica medis medication, hormonal um, flexation. I think that's up. I think that's right. All add to the stress load of your skin. The living, breathing, largest organ in your body deserves a detox and priority. Um, so this is a listing of eight ounces in a plastic bottle. And um, it's all home homemade. Anyways, so my review of this product. It smells pretty good. I don't know if it's tea tree. I don't know, but it smells amazing. And it looks a little bit like black. And you can see little pits of charcoal, I think. I don't know, but it's like little black dots. Black dots. And um, when it's, it feels really great on the skin, really silky and smooth. Um, so I just rub it in circle of motions and it just feels great. And afterwards my skin is really soft. It feels really clean. And I have really bad acne. Like, if I don't find certain products for my skin, I will break out really bad. Like, some people didn't know how bad my skin was. Um, they should have saw me in high school because I did not find the right products for my skin. And my skin will start getting really, really bad deep acne here, um, little acne here, some acne around my nose, um, sometimes here. But then, as I got older, it started getting my cheeks. I did not get them in my cheeks before, so it's it's just really frustrating. Anyway, so I've been using this um, religiously. I do use my X out um, acne treatment sometimes. Not enough to think that I would get much results. So I really think this is what's clearing my skin up. So I'm very impressed with it. So uh, definitely check it out. Um, her, it's listing as $20 right now on her Etsy shop. So yeah. Anyways, and then the Crest Botanicals Aromatherapy a Hope of Moisturizer Fresh Start um, Bergamot I don't know how to pronounce that Rosewood um, Pacholi Lemon and other essential oils and this is a glass bottle and it's a pump so I love that um, the moisturizer and uh, not moisturizer the cleanser has a top you know and um, so this has a pump and I love it it's really really thin so you don't need a lot of product um, it's not that thick, so you, um, I, I use about three pumps, which can be a little bit too much. I almost need like 
two pumps and a half. But so I use three pumps and I, I make it go all the way down to my neck. So that is usually why I use the, the extra. Anyways, it smells really good. It's just white. It smell, has more of the lemon, the lemon smell to it. And it's pretty strong smell, but it goes away really quick. Um, anyways, so it's really quick to put over. It feels smooth. I will admit that it feels a little bit greasy after you put it on, but it does soak in the skin and dry and then it feels great and you can't even tell it's there. Um, I normally use it at night because, like I said, it has a little bit of greasy feel at first, but I do use it in the morning sometimes. Um, but at night it's great because the next, when I wake up the next day, my skin is moisturized. I don't have any flakiness like I normally do. I can put my, my foundation on and I won't notice any flakiness. Um, normally, if I use this in the morning, it's because, you know, the night before, I was too lazy to wash my face, so I didn't use the moisturizer, so that's when I would use it in the morning. But, um, yeah, I'm very impressed with her packaging. I like glass bottles better, so I kind of wish this was glass, but it's nice, it's a really nice firm plastic, so it's okay. Um, so I'm very impressed with both products, and I really think that is what is contributing to making my skin clear, because these two are what I've been using mostly. Like I said, I've been using the X out. If you haven't don't know about X out, I did a, a review of it a little while ago, so you can just scroll down my videos. But X out is like um, the makers of Proactive. It's kind of like a really nice three-in-one product. I use that sometimes, like maybe once a week, just because I want to exfoliate a little bit. Um, but that's not even always true. These are the ones I've been using mostly, and I really think. Actually, I know that my skin has cleared up because I don't have really much bumps. I do have acne scarring, which is really bummer. I hate acne scarring. Um, I got rid of that my freshman year of college, like in 2007, 2008 area. I finally got rid of it, but then after I got married in 2010, that year, for some reason, I started breaking out again after the wedding, and then I started, you know, starting getting acne scars again, which sucks. And then, you know what, I found out why we have acne scarring. It's not necessarily because you popped your, your your acne. It's because if you get acne, your white blood cells, uh, when I talk too fast, I can't even talk. Your white blood cells, um, you know, all come up to that acne area so it can kill the infection. And then it'll leave, like, scarring tissue. So it's not necessarily because you, you were, like, you know picking at your face. It's actually just happens naturally and it really sucks. <laughs> so I'm actually on the lookout for something that will help clear up the acne scarring. So if you guys have any idea, any products that are reasonably priced, reasonably priced for me would be 25 and under. I don't want to spend 25, but I don't want to spend over 25 pretty much. But um, yeah, so let me know about that. Let me know if you ever even tried Crush Botanicals Etsy brand. I will link below her stuff. Um, she has a few skincare products. Yeah, so far what I've used from her I love, and I love her foundation because it's natural, has great stuff in it, so I don't feel as bad when I sleep on it. I don't do it that often, but anyways, so yeah, I'm impressed with her stuff. Um, I wish her foundation was a little bit more coverage, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to get ready for work, and thank you for watching, and I would love some feedback, so talk to you guys later. Bye.